Holy crap. That's no. the only spoon I can find. Hey, I found a shovel in the other room, guys. No, yeah, it'll fit. I got it. It'll work. It'll work. <laughs> Uh, ho, 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 kinfolk, and welcome back to our Christmas edition. We're back again for the third time. Third time? This is our third one. That's it right. Is. Yes, yes it is. This is our third five whiskey gifts for the whiskey lover in your life. If you haven't seen our past episodes, go back to the date in the I'll December put them up time. Above, your head. I'll put them up above, above my Nick's head. head and watch the other episodes. I'll have them up there above Nick's head. I'll pop them up there. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho. Well, there would ho. only be two. Ho, ho. Ho, ho. Yeah, only two oh. ho-hos. So. But that'll give you other ideas. If you don't like these, check out those and see. Maybe you can, you can definitely find something in the 15 some odd items that we're going to present. Yes. You know, well, today's only five, but the other two fives. What do we have today? Today, what we're drinking out of right now, sir, are these lovely neat glasses from Agent Orange. So these glasses are incredible. Yeah, they are. I mean, the, they're at heavy as hell, actually. These things they are, are like quality. Yeah. I mean, they've got some heft to them. They I mean, do. It's for, and they're, you know, these are their meat glasses, so um, they are specifically designed to for your bourbon and whiskeys to go inside of it. And it's like a Glen Carn where it's got a narrower nose, you know, for when you're doing the nosing. But also what we liked is that right up to the lip, like where it starts to curve in, that is an exact 1.5 ounce pour. Yes, it is. Which is, I think, awesome because a lot of the time, especially as a bartender, it's easier just to know how far, you know, and free pour it and then have to jig it out. Jig it. You don't want to be jigging. You know, maybe in that sweater. Maybe in this one, yeah. You got the little, you know, the cow going on. Show them your lights. There's my lights right there, people. Put the lights on the cow. Gangsta style. Um, and what we're drinking today, Nick, we're drinking appropriately some very old St. Nick, eight year old Kentucky bourbon whiskey. This is very, very rare. Yes, it, it this says is so. Specialty. Because it, yeah, it is a specialty because it's very, very old, too. It's very old. So tell them the story. Where'd you get it? We got this at the distillery in Kentucky when okay. we went there for a tour and we did the tasting tour. And so we got to try them all out and I ended up going with the eight year. All right, well, I'm gonna take a sip of this out of my brand new glass that I think you should pick up for your loved one this year for $18 each. So $18, they do have a glass of a uh, set of four different ones, uh, uh, not four different ones, but four combined together. Okay. Put the links for all these will be down below. So Perfect. you can just click and go. Awesome. Try it out. That's nice. Whoa. Yeah, it's got some proof. Yeah. It's got a little proof behind it. Um, it kicked me right in the esophagus. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, this one's, it's 55%, so. All right. It's only coming in at you know, 110 proof, so. Oh, my. <laughs> so, it's good. Yeah, I like it. I like it, don't know, that's a, but just to show you, you know, the, the glass with some actual whiskey in it. There you and go. It's yeah, heavy. It's, it, it's, a, it's a good I mean, even the dig, glass. if you notice, is yeah, like a harder dig. <laughs> than, than the, you know, than the Glen Cairn glasses yeah. we use. This it's is got definitely a, a thicker glass. It's, thicker it's, glass. It's, yeah, it's got some weight to it. Nice design. I like it. $18 each for the glasses. There you go. That's the first one. The next one we're going to do is what you've seen probably the most on our show so far. Derek's Shaker. There it is. I mean, not that much shaker. Yeah, this shaker. That's the jig shaker. That's the jig shaker. That's, that's my, sh my shaker. So, if you haven't seen this in our sip alongs where we've done the cocktail episodes, this is Derek's famous uh, shaker, which is awesome. I yeah. mean, this thing is high quality. It includes everything you need for a shaker. And um, the best part about this is when you flip it over inside, you can actually pour your ounces right in here with numbers labeled for you. So yeah, I, I love that part. It's very sturdy, works well. Yeah, elevated craft. This one elevated is- Elevated craft. Uh, what is this bad boy? This is $69.99. It isn't expensive, it's a double wall shaker. So you're not gonna get any of that, you know, the cold when you put the ice inside the vessel and shake it up and do that. Yes. You're also not gonna get is the freeze. You know, when you can't get oh it apart and we, yeah. well, the top pops off, well, yep. everything's screw top, so it just screws on and off. And for the strainer on the top, is the same thing. It's got a gasket seal, so you can strain it right out, pour out your drink, put it back on there, and it just makes it a lot easier. I mean, this is, yeah. I use the shaker all the time. This is the one that I have at my house, and it's the one that I bring when we do our cocktail sip-alongs and yep. everything like that. Yep. Definitely a must. This one is great. Yeah, the, the price, you're going to have this one forever. This thing is, like, 
this is heavy duty right here. And that's what's important is that a lot of the ones you'll get at a, um, we're gonna go with that one in a minute anyway. Um, the one that you get if you go to a liquor store and stuff, they work, but they're the cheaper version. They're gonna have the leaks, they're gonna get frozen. Like you said, they're gonna get stuck when you're trying to bang Today it out to open it. it. Out. Sometimes the top pops off, goes to the ceiling. Yep, so you know what? It's the holidays. Spend the extra buck for your loved one. Get them something of nice craft. Ooh, the hell you tied that in. Again, links will be down below for all of these items. Just go down there, you click the link, you'll go right to their page. We're not affiliated with anyone, so we're not gonna get a penny. We that's like right. these items, and that's why they're on the show. That's why we do it. That's why we do it. That's why we're here, folks. We're here for you and <laughs> the whiskey folk. And maybe one day they'll be here for us. Maybe they will be. Maybe they all will be. Oh, but you know who's here for us today? The who's Golden that? Able. The Golden Able. And why is he here for us? Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> it's like, uh, he's here because... <laughs> I have no idea, but he's I don't know. Well, we've had a we've had a lot of accomplishments, and we haven't brought them out. But we, you know, we hit our hundred episodes a couple weeks ago. We hit seven hundred subscribers. subscribers. So we've had a big, you know, when we hit our hundreds, we like to bring our gold out, and we're trying to get up to that thousand. So as always, share with your friends, tell them about the show, and get them in. So and thank you for everyone that has subscribed. Yes, yeah, we appreciate it. All right, moving on to our next. All right, going reaching over again. This is from Aged in Ore. This is a travel bottle set whiskey this is cool this is super cool I saw this one and I was like I gotta have it so guess what I did I bought it um, comes with four three ounce bottles inside of it okay it comes with a pen to write on the bottle so you will know what you have for whiskeys inside there and there's one of them so this is and what it looks like it's rubberized on the outside so they don't clink together and travel these are TSA approved also so you can carry these on your flight. Yeah. Each one is three ounce individual, and that is the legal limit that you can take. So you can bring your whiskey on your plane, folks. And then you can label them, like you said, with the pen right on the glass, which easily wipes right off. Yeah, it will wipe off later on. So great little item. So when you go on your trip, and I mean, three ounce pours, so this is like really like two. So two pours you'll get out of this, yeah. you know what I mean? Out of each one. So you could bring four different whiskeys with you. You know, if you're going on a business trip or going away and you want to celebrate something perhaps, and you want to bring your finest with you, here you go, right here, aged in ore. And then, a travel set. there is another thing you can do with this package that Derek showed me. And now we're not oh. talking about his package, we're talking about the gift. So the gift that keeps on giving, you can turn them sideways, bring two with you, and then you can also fit in cigars yeah, you for can. your cigar and whiskey drinker. Yeah, so, so you can put some cigars over here. I mean, I imagine you could, if you wanted to take this on the golf course with you. Yeah. You know, some cigars, That's, there were two cigars. When you said that to me, that's the first thing I thought I of. figured it was when I saw it. When, yeah. when I saw that nifty little trick from them that, that you could put two cigars in here along with that, I'm like, that's like perfect for golf. Perfect. You throw that in your golf bag, you take it with you, you have a little couple little whiskey pours as you're going along. Yep. There you go. But yeah, a really neat item from Age and Or, $38 for this, which I thought was like, really good that's a like good their deal. stuff is really quality and again yeah, and there's quality you know, it's got the rubberized outside so you know the bottles not going to cling together and it kind of protects it a little bit comes with the little pen to write on the bottle that you can wipe it off and this great little carrying case also for 38 dollars <laughs> and if you buy now if you buy now <laughs> we're gonna throw in a pair of nick's underwear and send it to you and it'll be used <laughs> on this show <laughs> maybe but maybe. that's kind of gross <laughs> maybe see babies clean ones but right now um, but again down below the putting ones <laughs> So anyways, <laughs> let's move on to one of the other things we found that looks incredible, smells incredible, we're very excited to talk about we it. We are very excited to talk and about it. And it's a specialty cherry. It is a specialty cherry. That's, again, we'll have the link down below for everybody. That, that one you can find on Amazon. That's what we found this. Bourbon Babe did a lot of hunting for it, but it comes in, honestly, this amazing little rock. Is that what you would call it? Yeah, porcelain crock. I almost want to call it a vase, but it's not a vase. No, no, it's like a porcelain, porcelain crock. crock. Yeah, this is the Amarini. I don't know what to call it. No, Nick, you're wrong. Porcelain <laughs> crock. Amarini Fabri Wild Pitted Cherries from Italy. Let's see what they look like. Let's see what they look like. Look it so, out. Whoa, all right, everyone wants to see a cherry. Now, make sure you have the biggest spoon you can find to get in there. And, ooh, look at those. <laughs> Oh, wow, yeah, look at it. It's a cherry. It's a cherry. I've seen cherries and that's what they look like. All right, let's try these bad boys. All right. What the? <laughs> Plop. Right. Another cherry to use, sir. All right. Ready? You can tell it's actually like wild caught. I feel like, <laughs> I'm not kidding. I feel like it's like a fresh cherry. That's really good. It's not, 
It's not artificially. No, that, that's like that that it's syrup. Just a, it's just like a stew, like a heavily stewed cherry. I mean, that's yeah. really good. And and it's not syrupy. It actually. Well, it is syrupy. Hmm. I, I'm trying to. How do I describe <laughs> this? It's not artificially. I guess. Oh yes, the artificial. You, yeah. It's not that artificial like you get out of a maraschino oh, cherry. Yeah. Wow. All right. It'll be tasting in a cocktail. It will be. We'll definitely be doing one of those. All right. All right. Honestly, when you're doing cocktails, the cherry makes the drink. Yes, a lot it of does. people don't think it does. They think it it makes a difference when you're using the cherry. A quality cherry has to go into a quality drink. I completely agree. Honestly, it's it's one of my favorite things about having a like a drink. Honestly, is when that cherry is sitting at the end. It's been soaking up all that, you know, the bourbon. I was gonna say bourbon. This is what I'm having it in. <laughs> and then. You bite into it. Oh, the flavor from the cherry and then the booze is in it and it's just, it's the best. The so, boozy cherry at the end. That's the boozy what cherry. Want. Yeah, that's what I want. That's what, what I want too. Uh, this one is $24.99. Again, pricier. Pricier. But you're getting a lot of cherries That's a there. That's a good size jar of cherries. I mean, these are going to last you for uh, quite a while. I mean, this is yeah. three point, I'm sorry, 1.32 pounds of cherries. That's so, a lot of cherries. That's a lot of cherries. That's a good, that's a good deal. It, it is a good deal. So, I mean, those will last you're you a while. You're buying in bulk. You're buying in bulk. You're getting this all your cherries. It's a BJ's cherry. trip. Yeah, this is. This all it comes in one big jar. <laughs> that's all you need. <laughs> you're going once and you're never coming back from it. No. So, go buy them. Go buy them. Go do it. Make do it, it happen. Do it now. Do it. Yeah, you know you want them. Do it. You already ordered. Click. <laughs> all right. So, moving on to our final item of the day. This is the thing that everybody, well, yeah, not every. I guess, I, I if the whiskey the lover in your life, if they're, you know, I mean, I consider myself, I'm a whiskey nerd, mm -hmm. I wanted to know more and more about whiskey and bourbons um, as we got into all this. Mm -hmm. So I went and I took the Bourbon Stewards course through Stave and Thief. Stave and Thief. Stave and Thief Society, that's Thief. what this is. The Bourbon Steward course. You study at your own leisure, go along, read the book. Then when you're ready, there's a code in the back of the book that you'll go online and you'll take an online test and two essays. That go along with it, but they pre prepared you for it inside this book. Cost is seventy five dollars. So it's all on your own. It's all on your own at your own leisure, and all it's right. an open book test at the end. I'm going to let you know that. This open is something book. I could handle. I think. I think you can. I think you can do this, Nick. I think, I think they could too. I think they can too. Seventy five dollars. You'll get the the uh, passcode at the end of the book for when you're ready. You just go online. You'll enter the code and you'll go right into the test and you go from there and then you find out within like a day or two of your score and everything like that. Whether you're 98 percent or a full hundred. Or, or a full hundred. That's important. To it know. is. Go for the hundred. <laughs> Always aim for full. Always hundred. aim. Don't don't settle at 98 percent. No. Or try to be the best. Try. Try. That's what we're saying. Not try. everyone can be, and we still love them. We still love them. All 98 percent. <laughs> the other two percent, we'll talk. About. We'll talk about. It. That's that's what we have the you yeah. know we ridicule. Yeah. <laughs> so, kid folks. But yeah, so it's definitely worth the pick up. Seventy five dollars. Be in the link down below. Take it right to the site. You can you can get it there. Mm -hmm. But Nicholas, this was a great Christmas episode. It was a great, Christmas, a great, Christmas, Christmas, great Christmas gifts. Gifts. And don't forget those other ones that you know we showed you before. Go follow those links. There's another five on each one of those. So you have fifteen choices to think from. You know, to if you want to get something. I was already this year thinking, what am I going to buy people? And he was like, hey, we're recording this episode today. And I said, perfect, I need some ideas. So there. So and I already just, got one. So Nick's just buying these items right now when he leaves. Yeah. I mean, That's as, it. He's, already, he's already setting up for the Christmas. And it's already ready. <laughs> Santa's coming early. Santa's coming to town, everyone. But everyone, thank you so much for another great season. We're wrapping up this year. I this know. is it. We're getting this out in the beginning of December, actually. Yeah. So you can still do your Christmas shopping. We're doing it early. We're doing it early because that's the way we like to do it, not the week before Christmas like we normally do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the last minute. <laughs> last minute shoppers. That's how we've been putting it out. We get, we get you covered. Yes, we here do. it is. The spread. The spread. So just hoping everybody finds a little bit of luxury. And an otherwise, ordinary life. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. If you are ready and able to whiskey, be sure to drop a comment below, hit those like and subscribe buttons, and press notifications. Also, follow Keeping It Neat on Instagram. Thanks for watching, kinfolk.